This is DZR in JWP, a series of videos about Danzanru Jiu-Jitsu using the JWP or Japanese Word Processor software. I'm your host, Professor George Arrington. And this topic is going to be on the subject of Yawara, or Yawara, the, uh, the first board or first set of techniques that uh, Professor Okazaki included in his style of jiu-jitsu. Uh, this is part one of uh, four parts looking at the actual technique names of Yawara. Okay, the first part of this, however, let's look at the at the, uh, the actual word, yawara. And if we are to type, were to type in the, uh, the kanji for yawara, I'm going to hold the shift key, hit the Y, and actually let me change this to, I'm in the, the ASCII mode right here, so I'm going to go ahead and change that to the kanji mode. Uh, hold the shift key, press Y, and you'll see that it appears down here in the corner and go A, W, A, R, A, like so. Hit the space key, and we get something that's completely foreign to us, all right? And that doesn't, uh, that doesn't, that's uh, valley, and that's wa, and that's, that's gen, and uh, I don't even know what this means. Let's go up to the, the dictionary and find out what this means. Uh, it doesn't have that entry either. So, okay, so that means something to somebody, but uh, that's not helpful to us. But um, regardless, the the uh, the term yawara, or yawara, uh, is written this way. Okay, yawara, and Professor Okazaki wrote it that way on his scroll to denote the difference between that. And what it actually means is this, ju, so the elongated u sound on on uh, on ju, so ju u, and when we get to the space bar, we see our our familiar uh, ju character, which means uh, uh, jujitsu or gentle. Okay, so rather than writing it this way, and people having it having uh, or believing that the, the board was called Ju, uh, he, he actually wrote it out as Yawada. Okay? So that's, uh, that's an interesting thing there. Okay, I'll just leave that kanji on there just to remind us about that. Okay, so let's look at the first. Uh, on each of these uh, tech, uh, videos about uh, Yawada, uh, I'm going to show you five techniques and, and, uh, and they're, they're the way to write them. The first technique that we have is katate hazushi a, or katate hazushi ichi, as it's written here. Um, uh, he actually wrote it on his boards as katate hazushi a, katate hazushi b, and then uh, somewhat later, uh, uh, some people looked at the scrolls and said, "Oh, wait a minute, this says katate hazushi ichi," and uh, our our modern. Uh, way of saying this now is katate zushi ichi and mu and so on. Anyway, enough of that. So I'm going to go down to uh, this and actually I have all five techniques listed here. And so let me move back up and I'm going to put some space in between those. Okay. So how do we write these? Well, uh, in, in hiragana we could simply say katate Katate Hazushi and Ichi. Okay? I'm going to leave that up on the screen there so we can actually look at, at that. So it's, it's written uh, Katate Hazushi Ichi. Um, okay, so let me, let me uh, actually I'll just, I'll just cut and paste that, or copy and paste that. Control, uh, actually let's use buttons here. Copy, put it down here, and paste. How about that? We love word processors. Okay, so kata, what does that mean? Well, let's go up here to our kanji convert, and we get that particular kata. Now this kata is the kata which means like the form, like if you want to do a, a kata, uh, or nagino kata, or 
things like that. The kata that we're interested in for this one is actually this guy right here, which means one-sided. Okay, it means one-sided. Uh, it could also mean one of a pair. And uh, so, so one-sided, so kata. And then te is, uh, okay, uh, I'm going to need to do this one a little bit differently, so let me just kind of erase that. And I'm going to use my other method of shift T, release the shift, hit E, and now hit spacebar, and it converts it to our, our, our uh, familiar character for T, and that's hand, okay? So, when I select both of those and go to the dictionary, it says one hand, okay? Single-handed, uh, when you're talking about something else, okay? So, one hand. Now, here's where we might have a little bit of uh, trouble here. Hazushi. Hazushi. Let's see what happens when we do that. Okay? It doesn't like that, so I'm going to I'm going to use my other method here uh, and say Hazushi. Hit the space bar, and lo and behold, we get our our character here for outside. Okay? And you say, well, gee, that doesn't mean escape, does it? Well, in this case, it does. It it actually can mean a release or an escape from uh, from something. Uh, it can also mean outside or foreign. And if you notice uh, here, the pronunciation can, of, of this can be gai, which means uh, outside or foreign. So when you talk about gaijin or foreigners, that's what that means. And here also soto, which means outside, like in soto momoharai or soto gama. That is the uh, that is uh, the same character, and if you look way down here, it says uh, hazusu or hazureru, which uh, is the verb form of of this to 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 release from or to escape from. Okay, so that is, indeed is is that, and we're going to leave on this this little extra uh, hiragana here, which means uh, it's showing that it, this is not pronounced gai, this is not pronounced soto, this is pronounced hazushi, hazushi, okay? So even though we don't normally see it like that in, in, our, in, in, uh, in the writings that we see, I'm going to go ahead and leave that in there as, as hazushi. That way it's, it's plain that that's what we're talking about and not soto or gai. So, let's go ahead and select this one. I'm going to hit Control i and uh, it doesn't come up for us there, so I'm going to, I'm going to just type it in, Ichi, and hit the space bar, and there's our, there's our, our one, okay? So there it is, one-handed release number one. All right, pretty cool. All right, so now I'm going to go down to the next one, and do a little, <coughs> excuse me, uh, do a little cut and paste here. Give me some room there. And I'm going to select all of that. Control C, go to here, Control V, and we have that. All right. So let me erase that. And I'm going to erase those two. So now it says, Katate Hazushi, Katate Hazushi, and we're going to use ni. Okay? And just come down here and write shift and release the shift, hit I, and hit ni for the number two there. Okay? So that's what it looks like. Katate Hazushi ni. Okay? Or one handed release number two. Uh, typically we use this for our 
our cross grab release and this is for our outside grab release. Okay? Pretty simple there. Okay. Now this one uh, is, is going to be a little bit different. Ryote Hazushi. Ryote. And this is a long O here. Ryote Hazushi. So I'm going to type that out now. So shift Yo spacebar. And uh, we get that character. That's not the character we're looking for. This is the character <coughs> that we are looking for, which means boat. Okay? That's also the uh, old Japanese coin, um, uh, as in Sanju Ryo. Uh, anyway, the. Um, uh, the meaning here, meaning both, is our is our our double grab release. So I'll go ahead and finish that one. K Hazushi, and there we go. So there is the O K Hazushi. Just remember that this is a this is a long O sound. Okay, and we use the U character there. Uh, just as a matter of interest, if we did type the O O O, so R Y O O, will we get the same thing? And the answer is no. no. <laughs> we get we get a mess there. So that's something else. Okay. So when you're doing the long O sound for the O, then use the U for it. Okay. All right. Go to Moro Tehazushi, and that's Moro, and that's the that's the symbol there. That's the character for Moro, which means I hit Control I, which means various or many or several or together. Okay, and so when we say Moro Te, that means our our two hands on one. And uh, let's see what the dictionary. I don't even. I haven't even tried this, so this will be a, a surprise for me too. So if I hit the dictionary for that, it means with both hands. How about that? Or approvingly. That's interesting. Okay. So with both hands. So grab with both hands. Okay. Of course, this is a grab with both hands too for Ryote. But um, actually, let's see what that means with our dictionary. I didn't try this before. It says with both hands approvingly. So, uh, or there's Amber Dexter's. Look at that. Or two blessings at once, flanked by two beautiful women. How about that? That sounds pretty cool. Okay, enough of that. And then we'll write in Hazushi. Okay. So that's pretty cool. And uh, and then finally, for this video, we're going to uh, finish this video with with Yubi Tori Hazushi. And so we'll type UB. So there's U and P with the, the two tick marks, t changes a E into B, E uh, into B. So UB. And there's the, there is the symbol for, for UB or finger. Uh, let's confirm that. There we go. Finger to point at. Or point to to point in or put into to play in chess to measure as a ruler, okay. And now here's where we here's where we get into a little bit of uh, of uh, variety, shall we say, uh, Tori. Okay. Sometimes it is written in in some scrolls and in some sources. It's written this way, uh, yubi tori, uh, meaning finger grab, okay? And that character, control I, that, that means to catch or to capture, okay? And it's uh, toraeru or toru, uh, so it, uh, it means 
to grab. So it is correct to say this. It is also correct to say this. That character can also mean um, toru or tori. Uh, and I've, I, I use toru, the infinitive form of the verb there. Uh, and let me control I and show you that that means to take or to fetch or to take up. So essentially it means to, to, to grab or to take. All right. So, but I'm going to go back to the original one that I had up there. Uh, and rather than saying toru, I'm going to say tori, which is the, the noun form of that verb. And we get that. And that, that's the one that he uses uh, predominantly on the, on the scrolls. Although sometimes you'll see the other, the toru, uh, they can be used kind of interchangeably. Okay? Um, so yubi tori, and then our hazushi that we saw before. Alrighty? So here, here's yubi tori hazushi. The finger grab escape. So somebody grabs your fingers and you escape from their from their grab. They're grabbing your fingers to try to put on a finger lock and and you're escaping from that. Okay. Um, so that's uh, that's Yubi Tori Hazushi and that's the first five of the Yawara techniques along with the with the way that we typically write Yawara, which is with the hiragana. Okay. All right. Uh, one more point before we go and that is that um, when you're using JWP, uh, what I, the way I used JWP or continue to use JWP is that I will use it, type out the Japanese, and then and then cut and paste it to another another uh, uh, software such as such as uh, Microsoft Word or, or some other software, and and then that will allow you to make up um, uh, class notes or class sheets or books. Or whatever you whatever you're doing, I did all of my books uh, with that manner. I took took uh, JWP, uh, put it into Microsoft Word, and and then uh, published the books from there. So this is something that you can use for your own for your own uh, your own work. Okay. So alrighty. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you on the next video.